<laughs> when I tell you, was it quiet? No, <laughs> it was you know the Apollo. Yeah, there's yeah, a, there's yeah. A, Send me. Boo. And then the whole crowd starts booing. Yeah. Did you always hear the first boo? It was like that, it was, but it was gay. It was like boo. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, oh shit, I'm about to get booed. And then it was like boo, <laughs> boo. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Do you like theaters more than just the small closed-in rooms? I like them both. Um, the the clubs, is, clubs is practice, yeah, I say. Yeah. And then um, the theaters is like, that's game day. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. But, the, you know, the clubs are always there, man. The clubs, are, I don't know. Is the vibe different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I mean, they laugh at all of them, but the club is like, there's no stress. You're like, yeah, I might yeah. try this. You know what I mean? It might work. I might try it. With well, the theaters, man, you got people paid more money. They got an outfit, got their hair done, nails done. Like it's an event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to bring your A game at the theater. Yeah, you be up there in the BSing. beginning. In the beginning, have you ever um, went on stage in the beginning and people didn't laugh or somebody you ever got booed off the stage or people like was mad at you? I'm gonna say, man, I got booed off at a gay bar. Uh, it's called the Rage. It's still there on Santa Monica in LA. That was that was a night in itself. Wow. That was a talent show. Did you say this wrong thing? Yeah, okay, I'll never forget <laughs> it. <laughs> I was I was just it was I was living in San Diego. I was in the Navy, so I couldn't really travel. And I was like, I, I gotta start getting to LA. So I, I was just calling nightclubs, bars. You got you got because I used to do uh, stand up at a karaoke bar in San Diego. Wow. Okay. Because yeah, I read that. I see. You got a stage and a microphone, so it got to the point where people knew all oh, that that that's the dude who's gonna tell jokes. Yeah, and yeah. They got quiet. It wow. was very, very cool. Every Wednesday at El Torito's. Yeah. In San Diego, I'll never forget it. Like, was you know, running into Faison up there at that time? No, nah, no, nah, Faison was a legend. He we already he was big, a legend. Now he big now. Yeah, he was he was coming on Friday and all that shit. They were like, yo, Faison was here last night. <laughs> he ain't real. <laughs> I was in a flag football lady. They go, Faison coming to the game today. Like he's a parent. Go, Faison ain't coming to our game. They ain't play about that. So, right? so what happened? So call up there, they go, yeah, yeah, we have a we have a variety show. I know what the hell variety show was. Every Tuesday at 10 o'clock. I said, well, how do, you, how do you get on? You show up at four, okay. you sign up. Come back at nine, we announce the 10 people on the show that night. Show's at 10 o'clock, runs about midnight. Boom. All right. Show before, I signed up. I came back at nine, I said, yeah, you're the ninth act tonight. I go, cool. I just stayed, there was an outdoor patio area. 10 o'clock, everybody's starting to get there, I was like, a lot of dudes here, right? <laughs> and, uh, I said, wait a minute, this is a gay bar. Oh, oh dang it. Oh, this, and this, this was super gay. This was like G-G-G-G-A-A-A-A-A-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y gay. So, I'm, keep in mind, there's no comedians before me. Everybody's singing and dancing. And it's gay. It's getting gayer <laughs> as the night goes on. And now people are really cramming in because once the variety show's over, it's just a gay bar. Oh, they party. They ready to go. <laughs> I walked out there, I'll never forget, the, the, the girl, guy, I don't know what it was, came out, give it up for Garrett, oh, a comedian. And I was like, and I walked out there, and I'll never forget my joke. I said, hey, how's it going? When I say the, the claps were like. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what's going Hey, I got a question. I go, you know, like when you're born, <laughs> I go, the doctor holds you up by your feet and smacks the baby's butt and then the baby's crying so you know it's healthy. I go, what if the baby's a mute? Oh. And then I'm like, I was smacking the baby <laughs> and I'm going, oh man. Yo, when I tell you, <laughs> was it quiet? No, <laughs> it was, you know, the Apollo. Yeah, a, yeah, yeah, a, same man. Boo. And then the whole crowd starts booing. Yeah. Did you always hear the first boo? It was like that, it was, but it was gay. It was like, boo. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, oh shit, I'm about to get booed. And then it was like, boo, <laughs> boo. <laughs> and then the dude, the dude, the host was like a transgender, not transgender, he was just a dude dressed as a woman. He was pulling, he, no, he was getting pulled on like this wagon throne thing by two guys with the red balls, like the Ving Rains, Paul oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were pulling them out. <laughs> oh, you, get you get gone. <laughs> it's like, oh, you gotta be shitting me. Oh, I got one joke out. I was on stage 30 seconds. Damn. Damn. Oh, man. So my dumb ass, never been to LA. Yeah, when you get booed, you might want to leave. 
So I'm like, I'm I'm staying. You stay like, there. We're network. Oh you know? no! I'm in the bathroom washing my hands, and this guy comes and goes, "Hey, you're funny. That was a funny joke. We're just a very tough crowd." And I got this pocket, and he puts this card. He goes, "But if you need a massage, call me." Oh, oh like, damn! Oh. <laughs> and then the night gets worse. I go to my car. There's a fucking ticket on it. I got a oh, fucking no, ticket on no, it. This guy sucks. It's going down, I man. I drive back to San Diego. No. I, cussed I cussed every gay person out. <laughs> Look at Elton John. <laughs> fucking rocket man. Fuck you. <laughs> every gay person. I was like. Did you, basically, as, you, as you've grown and developed and you've seen the time, did you have to change your joke strategy because of how sensitive of a culture we was in? Or were you able to keep solid with what you do? For a hot second, I, I I had the Special Olympics come after me. They did. Wow. I got a, I got a cousin. I talked about her on stage, yeah. and they, they they just they're just they was a witch hunt. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. I was yeah. like, oh, you you just because I, it's oh, a long story. But it was a bad man. joke, Gary. No, it was a, it's an amazing joke. Okay, and it's it was amazing. real to you. It yeah, was, it was real to you. Yeah. Well, people yeah. are sensitive. Well, so. my cousin got a this is a true story. My special needs cousin got an STD. What the and hell? I, everybody's like, yo, so, you know, Tina got STD. And I was like, Tina's fucking? Oh, I was more yeah. like that. I was like, okay. <laughs> that, that was the joke. Yeah. Why can't I do that? No, they, go, they sensitive. They gonna get sensitive. There was nothing wrong with that joke. I was it's so happy. Truth. I was, yeah, I was life. so happy she was having sex. I go, Tina's fucking. I was happy. <laughs> I was like, all right, she's living. You know, yeah, living yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, then, I, but the joke was like, well, who gave her the STD though? Oh, <laughs> like, damn. What oh. guy blew my special needs cousin back out? Like, oh, what? Damn. <laughs> then we found out it was another special needs dude. Yeah, wow. I, I wouldn't figure and I'm that. I'm like, wow. getting to the joke. There you go. There's the joke. And oh. I, got mad. I go, I can't even talk about my cousin. Day. But that's so crazy because I've seen, we've seen some comedians who don't care about sensitivity. They'll talk about everything, black, white, gay, whatever, and they do they not should. care. But then you have some comedians who are scared of the blowback because some people are scared to be canceled because if you say certain things, you know, people can come at you and it. Well, I was the perfect level of celebrity for them to come after me because what they, what happened, I had the reality show about to come out, the Gary Owen show. Mm -hmm. And. You know they were they were softballing like we 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 McDonald's advertises with the Special Olympics. Okay. That was going to be an advertisement. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. They were softballing like we can get these advertisers pulled. You won't get your show. Wow. So I kind of had to play ball a little bit. Yeah, right. yeah. So I was just like, but looking back on it, anytime you hear an athlete or a comedian or anything, they do something, and then you hear this well thought out written apology, like John Moran. Yeah, yeah. The, these apologies that come yeah, out of yeah. him, I go. He didn't write that. That's PR. The That's all PR. From that. PR. Like, oh, PR. We don't mean it. That's right. Like, I, didn't, I didn't mean my apology. Looking back on it, yeah. I didn't mean it. I didn't write it. I had a publicist write it. I was See, like this. But I you never said, said this word. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's just a statement they put out there. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.